everyone. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about our experiences horse trekking in the mountains and staying in a shepherd's hut. Oh, where to start? Where to start? Where to start? So, we started in Bokumbayo and the horse trekking began. We trekked for about six hours that day. We saw a pretty amazing uh, phenomenon. Let's use a big word. It was a phenomenon. <laughs> yeah, it was the horses all migrating from one place to another. <laughs> so what you just saw in the last video was the shepherds getting the horses to a, a valley, which is we were really lucky to see it because it's a once in a season thing they do it once at the end of winter and once at the beginning of summer now we were very lucky with the weather actually because you can't really see much now but yesterday you could see everything the clear, whole thing. clear blue skies as you've seen some video footage we got we'll insert from photos now you seen them <laughs> yeah that's right <laughs> and uh and then we're doing more trekking stop for lunch. Had some nice lunch. And then after about six, seven hours, we got to the shepherd's hut, which really is when the experience was impactful on our lives. Walked into the sort of front garden area and there were loads of chick chicklets coming, <laughs> like <laughs> hundreds of chicklets just chickling around. That, whatever that noise was. They, they work all hours of the day, of their waking day, they're working pretty much the whole time. Yeah. So 100%. a family of three people, the dad, the mum and the son. The son was 10 years old. Their work ethic was so inspiring. They so had true. 25 cows that the woman would have to milk twice a day, every day. The father, the shepherd, would be looking after 500 sheep. <laughs> He had, to, he had to take them out, they could eat their grass, get their exercise, watch over them the whole day because there's threat. Um, the wolves live around the area and the wolves can take the, can kill the sheep and we actually saw a, a dead carcass of a sheep. It was so interesting seeing a different, a completely different way of living. What we see as hard work at home is like maybe sitting at a computer for nine hours a day. But this is, it's like a different but level. After that nine hours on a computer or whatever job you do, you then can go home to a warm, cosy, heated house and have dinner and watch a movie with your family or girlfriend. Whereas them, they are working constantly all day, morning to sunset, non-stop, and especially the kid is working. And this really inspiring was the 10-year-old kid, this 10-year-old man, sorry, he was working non-stop, selflessly, for his mother and father, and it was just... It brought us down to earth, I suppose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Made us realise <clears throat> how, how blessed we are in the West. We have our own problems, like mental health, but these people, they have to work so hard for their own basic living. Mm. Survival. Survival. Yeah. We can, if we're hungry, we go downstairs, we open the fridge, you know. You have all the food, all the access to all the food, anything, anything you want. Yeah. This boy is helping his parents provide dinner. Yeah. He is taking care of his family. Not only his family, he's taking care of hundreds of animals. Yeah, through, through this experience we're realising how truly blessed we are. It was one night for us and this kid, he, it's his whole lifetime growing up. He has to continuously every single day do this, help his mother and father. It could be freezing, 5.30 in the morning he wakes up, helps his mother milk the cows, make sure they're in order. These cows are double the size of him and he has to, you know. So yeah, it really just opened our eyes massively. And yeah, made us very appreciative of this gift, this opportunity. Hopefully from it opening our eyes, it can open some of yours. So next time you 
have something to complain about. This is something that we are trying to implement in our daily waking lives. When, that, when a thought comes up, a complaint or a negative thought about something petty, we'll think back to that boy and put our problems into perspective. Some of these shepherds, they spend weeks on end not sleeping in any sort of comfort. Yeah. Without a tent. They'll sleep outside. They'll be sleeping in the mountains without a tent because they have to look after their sheep. They're not even a sleeping bag, just out in the cold. And this is something they have to do, in a sense, to survive. It's not really by choice, we think. And that's the same with the kid. He has to do this for his family, he has to. Then staying one night with them and seeing how that they actually live, we realise actually this is extremely difficult and hard. And although it might be peaceful at times, the reality of it is it's really, really challenging, especially for a 10 year old to grow up his childhood in this. But then saying that, he enjoyed it. He enjoys it. He yeah, said that. We asked whether he preferred school or being in the mountains with his family. Because he rides a donkey. He's a 10 year old, he's riding a donkey around. He said he enjoys getting water for the family on the donkey because they have to go a, kilom a, a kilometre away to get the water from a spring and bring it back. That's what he said he enjoys doing. A selfless action, getting water for his family. The, again, this has inspired us to be more giving and selfless. It's even the smallest things. When being there, I realised what I take for granted, like mm. a shower. They didn't ha have a shower. They had one room where they ate, cooked, and another room where they all slept. That was it. That was it. And a toilet which was a wooden shack with a hole in the ground mm. outside. No luxury, like a bath, no sink. Going to the tap at home and just pouring yourself a glass of water. You know, we have so much to be thankful for and grateful for in the West. And that's why, that's why we're trying to promote people to go traveling because mm. when you're stuck in that bubble, life can get so monotonous. You expect things but you go out in the world and you see that not everything is as easy as it is for us at home. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Hunts and travels, helps us. Oh, a bit weird there. What I was gonna say, we hope this inspires you to go throughout your day, moving from a place of gratefulness, not hatefulness. <laughs> Being grateful, not hateful. <laughs> Hope you enjoy your day guys. Oh. Peace and love from above. Love the life you live. <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> We're YouTubers, let's go. Party. Thank you everyone who subscribed yeah, thank and you. liking and showing support. Even if you're not um, like to all subscribe, yeah. if you're showing support, thank you. Thank We're, gonna, We're gonna jump in this Q Lake. Have a great day guys, have a great day. Stay tuned for the next video because it's going to be a good one. <laughs> See you later. <laughs>